Tonight, short-term rentals are at the center of a Volusia County debate. This is all coming to a head just weeks before spring break. The county previously banned short-term rentals. Now homeowners on both sides of the issue are voicing their concerns. News 6's Molly Reed has the latest from Volusia County. This is our home. Why are you telling us how to live in our home? The argument has become passionate for many beachside communities in Volusia County. Over 70 residents lining up to speak to the county council today about whether to change a 30-day short-term rental minimum. The law to allow less than 30-day rentals, in my opinion, is out of touch with modern times. You're putting these children at risk if you turn our neighborhoods into transient communities by allowing short-term rentals. On February 16th, the county paused a ban on short-term rentals in some parts after many residents protested it at the first several meetings of the year. The county says it has not been proactive going out to the neighborhoods and enforcing this, instead only enforcing it if someone complained. Since 2007, it says it's received 860 complaints about short-term rental properties. Those against it don't want the traffic and change of neighbors, saying short-term renters don't care about the neighborhoods. Short-term renters in my neighborhood have been loud and dis disruptive. But many spoke in favor, saying it is a business opportunity and a way to bring in tourism dollars to the local economy, especially during bike week and spring break. I've had people that have come to the area that have never been here before because we talked about how much we loved it, that are now people that return. County leaders say they won't make the decision today, wanting to wait for possible changes being made to laws on a state level that would affect this too. In Deland, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.